herbs and crystals DIY. Use plant medicine and crystal energy to heal the mind and body by Ali Sands, owner of Aquamian Soul. So, this is through Page Street Publishing, and it's a recent. A recent release, the copyright is 2018, so it's a new one from her. So, and it goes through the solstice and equinoxes, and it starts off with the winter solstice. So, and I just like how, like, Randomly, there'll be some like watercolor imagery, like you got, like right there. So you got a little bit of you, like you can see here, brief information. So well, not really a huge amount of information, and then. Like the first paragraph is a brief in introduction to it, and then what would be what you could make in the coming portion. So you got this, which is the pinyon pine cone incense, and you got photos of different steps. So, like, and you got, like, captions, so the caption for, like, this one is the perfect, perfect consistency. Then, so you got ingredient supplies, like, how to make it, and then sometimes you'll have, like, the note. Another thing is wildflowers and crystal face steam. So, it's many of it's a combination of using crystals and different things or making something. So, in this one, linen foraging apron. So, you have that. But you got like gem elixirs. And then, so, like, glass container of your choice, spring wattle, tumbled stones, and she has calming, energizing, and love. So, depending on which elixir you want, like, out of these three options that she has, you could likely do more. So, there's a few others as well. And you gotta go into the spring equinox. And so it's pretty much the same setup uh, for everyone. You got some sort of image, the what, like, kind of introduction of, like, of it, or, like, what is surrounding you in all this. So, and some, and you'll get some sort of images, images of what, what it will look like as you progress. So, the, like, the staging of the images are really nice, like, pr really professional. So, like, even the step-by-step -step images are, like, really, like, professionally and really well staged. So, like, it does have a variety of 
different things that you can make using herbs and crystals. Some just herbs, some just crystals, and you do have that mix of using both. So, and then you go into like the summer solstice, you doing stuff like a, a botanical soap, or intention mist, so like dream time, love, happiness, and then the fall equinox, so you got crystal oracle going on, so that will be something that is a crystal craft in here, a crystal DIY, so and then she goes into and like that photo is like really nice but she goes into crystal oracle stone meeting meanings so instead of just having like a rough image of the stone like she'll it's images of what the stone will look like in its tumbled form so you know what it looks like instead of it being in its raw form this, like, the tiger's eye, like, that's what it, tiger eye, like, tumbled, what it, tiger eye looks tumbled. So, you have that, like, a full moon ritual kit as well. And then, so... Do have multiple DIYs per equinox or solstice and at the end so instead of the them being at at the beginning because like at the beginning it after the introduction it goes straight into the winter solstice when like in other books you get the information but at the end you this is where she puts the information, so she has what are crystals, so 20 most used crystals, so what are crystals is just, a, just one page, and then she, the 20 most used crystals, and so as you can see, there's about, that's like a wallet size photo of some like different forms of the crystal and then a brief kind of explanation of those crystals and then you got how to choose crystals and how to spot a fake crystal as well how to cleanse your crystals some people don't like, I think there are people out there that don't like the act of cleansing the crystals. That. They just, <laughs> they just don't like it. Uh, then she goes into foraging. So. Foraging rules. And what I, what she keeps in her foraging bag. And. Like, that is awesome as well. How to dry and store herbs, gathering, drying, storing, making herbal powders, flowers for drying, and natural plant dyes and resources. So it's not an extensive list of resources, but it's a start. And, yeah, all of the addresses, not the websites, but physical addresses are American, but each one has... Well, except 
or one has a website uh, and yeah so if you are the type of person who likes to do both that likes to do DIYs with both herbs and crystals this would be the book for you but if you don't but I'm pretty sure there are there will be some people that don't like that combination of putting herbs and crystals into one DIY book cuz I'm pretty sure you could just do two separate books on herb DIYs and then another book on crystal DIYs but she's kind of balanced the book counts balanced both of them with the DIYs and yeah she really knows how to set up photos so I'm just double checking if it's her or not yeah so all of the photos were uh, has been taken by her so Like, it's, the directions aren't, like, formal, step one, here's what you do, step two, here's how you do. It's, like, she's walking you through, like, a YouTube video or something. It's not totally informal, but it is formal enough that she's not fearing off. She's like, use a small, use a small spoon or small scoop to pour about four heaping spoonsful of the salt into your bath water. You can place the crystals corresponding to the moon cycle in your bath water as well. So instructions like that or separate the strands into four into groups of four. There will be four strands in each group. Let's work on each group one by one and then she's taking you through the steps like that. So it is, so if you like doing DIYs with both, this is a good thing to look at and she categorizes them again into the winter, winter solstice, spring equinox, summer solstice, and fall equinox. So there's that. So once again, Herbs and Crystals DIY by Ali Sands. Happy readings.